Okay, I just wanted to make this video right here to show y'all all the weapons that I have in my arsenal and all the weapons that does bleed, that actually does good damage and bleed <clears throat> on this build. So, of course, most of all the weapons that come with uh, innate bleed, it's going to bleed people pretty quick. Like <clears throat> this uh, Carthus, uh Curved Sword. You know, to say that me and him was mainly just running around and for me to still get that bleed off, that's just pretty insane. Because, you know, I always knew bleed to, you know, it always kind of went down quickly. And if you didn't keep a lot of pressure up, you know, you ain't going to get it. But, I mean, I didn't really keep too much pressure up on this guy and I still got it, you know. But anyway, you know, uh... I also want to touch on uh, your defense with this build. I know a lot of people, y'all go for so much damage, damage, damage. Okay, that's the meta, man. You know, dark infuse and trying to get as much damage as possible. This build is about getting that bleed and also absorption. Look at, the, look at what I got on. Like, this stuff look wonky as hell. But yet, it gives me a lot of protection. It also gives me uh, some poise. So when I use my heavier weapons, I have poise. You know, the goal with this build is to get the bleed off and survive long enough to get the bleed off. If your character running around with no armor on and you get hit a few times and they kill you, I mean... Hey, that's on you, you know, you should have put some armor on, unless you're good at dodging, you know, if you're good at dodging, then I guess it's not really a uh, problem, but yeah, man, gotta have some good armor, man, because, I mean, you see, you know, he do more damage than me, of course, you know, like I said, I'm focused on the bleed, man, so, and I'm uh, getting close to uh, bleeding him out right here, it actually shocked me. You know, that, that shocked me. I was like, man, you know, we just been running around the map, and I done bled him, you know. But this was a long fight, man. That dude is, is good. I'm, I'm not lying. He's real good. But, man, uh, I'm finna go ahead and make this my last metal video because, you know, I, I've never really been to Max Soul level. I really want to go up there and see if anybody's playing and you know, see what it's like it past soul level three hundred. I never I don't think I ever got past soul level two fifty, maybe two six. I think it's the highest I ever went. But I wanna go up there with this bleed bill and see what I can do up there. Cause I know you come across different players. You know you know at two sixty and uh two fifty, two fifty, two sixty you know, I was coming across a, a different uh, player base, and this is the Warden Twin Blades. Of course, you see them bleed hella quick, but you know he don't really got nothing on though. So, but still, Warden Twin Blades bleed quick as hell. Now we're moving on to the Stray Sword. Now the Stray Sword. I mean, I mean, damn, it's a straight sword, man. R1 spam, you're going to get the bleed. <laughs> That's all it is to it. My guy right here got on Dark Moon Blade. I have never, you know, as long as this guy had this game, I've never got Dark Moon Blade. I don't get something as a blue enough to get Dark Moon Blade. I've been trying. Maybe I need to cut out the invasions and just sit still and hope and pray they summon me so I can get there because I actually do want to try that. I really should have parried them, but I knew that I was trying to get the bleed off for this showcase. So I was like, eh, nah. I just bleed them. You know, he's spamming that lightning arrow, so I run back because I'm not I'm not dealing with that cancer. No. And that good old R1 spam for the win. But yeah, man, uh, I hope y'all enjoy the build. And this the uh, Spike, I'm mean, no Spike Mace after this. This is the Scythe. Uh, the Scythe, and this right here was actually uh, a 
a good time for me to use the site. Even though he didn't use that ultra, you know, if he used that ultra more, I still feel like I would have had the advantage. You know, get in and get like right there. Get in and get out, put that pressure on him. You know, and there, you know, it's over with. The scythe bleeds pretty quick as well. I like using it. Especially against, you know, larger weapons. Now we move on to the spike mace. And I believe I actually got bleed two times on this guy. With the spike mace. Now that's saying a lot. This is a, a slow, heavy weapon. And I got that bleed off two times. So, it, I mean, hey guys, it's right here. The bleed bill is right here. I put in a lot of time in making it. Man, I hope y'all enjoy it. Hopefully, we see more look bills running around, you know. Uh, I really do, because I mean, that. I'm so sick of seeing. I, um, I see like the same bills every time I fight. And Miller, it's, it's just ridiculous. You know, they everybody using the same thing, you know. And that to me that's that's boring. But I mean, hey, you know, who am I? You know, play how you want to play. There go one bleed right there. And then I'm gonna bleed him again. And that's gonna kill him. This next bleed will. But yeah, you know, that for this spike mace to uh Bleed somebody two times as slow as it is, man. That's some that's some good bleed uh build up. But yeah, uh, it's, like I say, defense. Like you look at it, you see that poise. You know you gonna need that with heavier weapons. You know in that defense, I got a lot of defense. You know, now I say the best for last. I want to carry it over Dachi. Cause I know somebody wanted to see it. I know somebody want to see it. Do a katanas? Do they do bleed? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. But in this battle, I get it at the end, and it kills him. Now, maybe if I would have hit him with another uh, L1 right there, would have killed. I don't know, cause that didn't. But this right here is the end. Bleed him out. There you go. But like I say, this is uh, the end of my metal bills. Moving on up. Like and subscribe. See y'all later.